So <clears throat> just going to explain for the audience that will see this. Uh, a few days ago, <clears throat> I met um, Grace, uh, which uh, her Instagram is Graceful Turtles, um, who is doing a project, um, some of you may know, uh, 36 Days of Type. Um, and it caught my attention because she is taking the same approach as I'm taking, that is um, basically taking photographs um, that of, of letters and signs, and letter signs that we find in the street. So I was thinking that I was going to be um, the only person who do that, but obviously it was very obvious that I was not going to be the, the one doing it. So I found her, I suggest her to connect and to talk a little bit about, about this. So um, again, thank you for joining us. Um, so tell us, who are you? Okay. Let's see if we can meet graceful turtles. I've never done this before, so I'm a bit excited. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. Let's see if she turns in. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <clears throat> nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to see you. You know, it's, uh, it's something we've never done before. It's the first time I see you. It's the first time you see me, I guess. That's right. That's right. I've seen, I've seen some of your pictures on Instagram, but actually I've, I didn't know uh, because I wasn't sure who were you. And you don't have a lot of pictures aside from the letters. Um, yeah. So thank you for joining me in this conversation. <laughs> it's my pleasure. And I find it really interesting that we, <clears throat> through 36 Days of Type, we're actually making a personal connection, not just a letter connection. So I find that that's one of the benefits of, yeah, of this project. <laughs> wow, this moment is, is, is turning into a very special moment. So, you know, I'm just about to do this interview to, to you who I've, I've never done it before. I've done some interviews before, but never in this way. So I'm <clears throat> just going to explain for the audience that will see this. Uh, a few days ago, <clears throat> I met um, Grace, uh, which uh, her Instagram is Graceful Turtles, um, who is doing a project, um, some of you may know, uh, 36 Days of Type. Um, and it caught my attention because she is taking the same approach as I'm taking, that is um, basically taking photographs um, that of, of letters and signs, and letter signs that we find in the street. So I was thinking that I was going to be um, the only person who do that, but obviously it was very obvious that I was not going to be the, the one doing it. So I found her, I suggest her to connect and to talk a little bit about about this so um again thank you for joining us um so tell us who are you how do you find yourself in one sentence <laughs> oh dear <laughs> um i'm a spectator i definitely am a spectator of life and um i i enjoy seeing the details definitely mm. the little things that's what you say in your profile. You say, um, I'm a public expectator. That's, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a professional. <clears throat> I think it's a professional spectator or something like that. It's something actually that I learned from my grandmother a long time ago. Mm. She loved to sit on the bench and just watch life as it goes by. And so we that's would sit nice. on, a, on a bench together and, and watch people go by. Okay. That's great. We we all, we say it with my partner as well. I like, oh we love just watching people. Sometimes we sit on a cof in a coffee shop and just we we, yeah. we just observe people, which is just nice. So, um, Grace, are you married? I am. I'm married. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm. I have to think about. Well, how many you years need to give now. some explanations. <laughs> Seventeen years. Seventeen years. Oh wow! You're yeah, an yeah. expert. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Or not 18. Um, where are you from, Grace? Well, Originally, you live in Germany. But yeah, go ahead. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. I live in Germany right now, but I'm originally from California, from the San Francisco Bay Area, just north of San Francisco. It's important to give the details. Mm -hmm. I can't well, say San Francisco because I'm not <clears throat> from the city, you know, mm, like I don't want to right. misrepresent. But, but the I Bay Area. From the, but the Bay Area, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and uh, do you have kids? I do not. No. Okay. No. I'm not going to ask anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, it's, it's the demographics going to be, it's, it's not yeah. a user research uh, session, so it's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. Um, so how are you getting on with the lockdown? Oh, yeah. Um, how are you? It's, you know? it's uh, we're sheltering in place. So we have in Germany, we have to, um, yeah, stay in our apartments where, or houses. Uh, we're allowed to go out for exercise. Um, to go to the shops, to the doctor, pharmacy, and um, you are still allowed to go to your place of work if they can guarantee the two meter distance um, mm -hmm. from from either customers or other employees. But um, otherwise, everyone is at home, and we're on going into our third week now, which I mm -hmm. think is the same f for you in Barcelona. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's the same. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's hard. I mean, so far it hasn't been so hard because we had snow this week. And so staying inside was really? not. <laughs> yes, but this wow. weekend we're supposed to get 22 degrees. So um, <laughs> a huge swing in difference. And so I think it'll be really hard when the weather starts getting nicer to want to mm. stay inside all the time. Mm. They also say when <clears throat> when the weather or when, when it becomes warmer, um, the beer, the virus is going to disappear, kind of disappear. We hope um, so. You know. We don't know for sure, yeah. but we hope so, right? We hope so. Yeah, we hope yeah. this is kind of terrible. So yeah. ad what advantages or disadvantages does this situation um, has brought to you? Um, well, as far as... Um, advantages I mean at this point I'm I'm spending a lot of time at home and so um, creatively I'm able to do some extra work but I'm I honestly because of the stress of the situation which I guess is the disadvantage it's sometimes hard to concentrate so mm -hmm. um, I want to be more productive but I don't want to push myself um, to be, you know, to do all these things mm. that I have in my head that I could accomplish because we need mm. to give ourselves a little bit of, of space to be 100%. upset about the situation too, right? So, 100%. Um, yeah. Imagine I mean, if you have kids. Be, yeah, no, and then I would be not productive whatsoever. So right <laughs> now, honestly, I'm very happy I don't have. <laughs> Just for yeah. that one reason, you know, like, but for mm. all of um, the other disadvantage, I would say is that um, it's difficult to go out and take photographs when it's, you know, when we're not supposed to be out too much, right? That's interesting. So, and I'm going to have some questions about this a little bit uh, later on, because mm -hmm. I wonder how you take pictures now that we can't go out, but we, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> so before that, um, uh -huh. tell, tell, me, tell me a little bit, like, what do you do for a living? Um, I work at the university here in my town. Okay. So um, we have a foreign language center and mm. I teach and coordinate um, 17, 16, 16 other teachers um, who wow. teach English as a foreign language in our foreign right. languages center. So right. we offer all sorts of different academic based speaking, writing and mm. level courses for um, the university students. So it's all at a university okay. level. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, I'm just wondering like, what's your, um, like, because you're very creative or it seems that you, you need to, you need to get out this creative monster inside of you. Well, monster, not a monster, sorry. Like just this creative mm -hmm. living inside of you. If that makes yeah. Sense. I don't but, mind the word monster either. <laughs> I, actually, yeah, I, like, I like it actually, um, but some <laughs> I honestly, like... um, uh, before I was on Instagram, I was on another platform um, mm. where I did a lot more work because I had more time to do um, photography. Um, and I did many projects. I'm not on that platform anymore. But my name on there was Grace Zilla. 
So Monster oh. totally, <laughs> totally fits okay. for me. No problem. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I just, I'm just curious now, what, what platform was that and why you're not using it anymore? Um, I was on Flickr um, oh, before. Flickr. I was thinking yeah, about Flickr but, for some reason. Yeah, and um, I, just, I just stopped because honestly, the part of the community that was there was gone mm. by that point. Mm. Um, and that was one of the main reasons why I was I see. Um, on there. And honestly, I've been searching for community in platform ever since. And so uh, Instagram has for a long time been able to help me kind of, you know, create community. Mm. Um, their algorithms in the recent times have not been so great for that. I mean, we had mm. that this year with the 36 days of type where they had to start over as well. Okay. But, um, but otherwise though, um, I mean, that's part of what I really like about um, sharing photos and meeting people who are also, you know, like-minded photographers. I have some really great friends that I've created through the photography community um, here in Europe. From, from those, that Flickr community, I'm still friends with people in the Netherlands and Belgium and here in Germany. That's great. Um, yeah, some of them are in England. It's, it is, it's, it's really great. Like that's something that wouldn't have existed before really. Um, for a novice like myself, someone who's not a professional photographer, it's harder to... Yeah, know. but it's, it's like... <clears throat> I feel, I feel like, yeah, we, we're not professional photographers, but, you know, if, if we would, if we would like to, it's, it's like easy. Now, nowadays, it's easier to, to become professional or at least to create a community and then connect with that big people that might help you or just, you know, at least have the opportunity to talk to. So, yeah, I, yeah, I, I agree with, with anything, with everything you say. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess, like, mm, let's jump straight away into Instagram because that, okay. that's what it, you, you're very passionate about this as well. So um, it's my main platform now, but that's mostly okay. also because, I mean, it's very easy and accessible. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of people that I've connected with on there now. So it's where my community is at. And also um, <clears throat> for time sake mm. i don't want to be on too many platforms <laughs> right because then Makes you're just sense. on your phone all the time right or that's on your right. computer all the time that's right i want to live life as well so makes yeah. sense it's, it's very important actually um yeah. yeah so um well i just want to make a little parenthesis um feel free to ask me anything um you okay. want to ask as well this is not just uh, like uh, me asking questions, you you can you can ask me any, anything you you might be curious of. But I've prepared some some questions for you because that, oh, that was well, my. I've prepared my some for you. I've prepared oh, wow. some for you as well, definitely. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> I, I guess um, my first question, because I you know was looking through your pictures, you have a yeah. um, a lot of question or a lot of pictures through throughout London and different things that were happening in there. How yep. long were you in London for? Well, I always say that I live between Barcelona and London because my, my mm -hmm. partner lives in London. Okay. Um, so now I'm just, you know, well, now I'm locked down at home, but, but um, We're all I'm locked down. traveling. Yeah, I've been yeah. like three years. You see my English accent now, three mm -hmm. years. <laughs> 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 I would say three years. Uh, but sometimes, you know, my, my English is a little bit from everywhere and nowhere. But uh, yeah, three years living in London and um yeah occasionally well pretty much like once every two months or something like that i'm, I'm traveling there so yeah okay I've, i i started taking i mean i i bought my camera it's like a sony alpha and i bought it mm -hmm. i bought it in barcelona in a in an offer i found in a in a, in a shop but then i started um taking pictures in london so everything pretty much is from london i have a lot of material uh, from yeah. London, which I think it's it's amazing night photography, you, particularly. I was just going to say that that you <laughs> you seem to have a little, you know, um, mm. yeah, you're you have an affection for for night photography, which is something have, that I've uh, been wanting to do more of, but just haven't had mm. a chance to do. Um, my, one of my goals this year is to actually take a to mm. take some nighttime shot, more nighttime shots. So yeah, I, I got a tripod. Um, and like three or four lenses now I have, 
Um, but yeah, let's say I, I have like a kind of a soft spot for um, typography, uh, for um, for typography as well. But for um, yeah. <laughs> night, night photography, because um, mm -hmm. you know, and London is full of lights, and it, it allows you to to experiment and explore. And I have, you know, if if you keep if you stick around, um, you you will see some some crazy yeah minding pictures i i have from london uh with like so really yeah, it's great really cool so uh okay let's do like one and one maybe okay um, i like that right so um why graceful turtles <laughs> i knew i was gonna get this question <laughs> you it, knew is, that. it is a, a really old email address from way back when when they were first starting it and i was trying to figure out something for you know, and um, myself at the time. Um, all of the things that had to do with Grace were already taken, of course, by the time I got an email address. And I didn't want Grace 433 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> without any meaning or anything. Um, and I needed to be able to remember it because at the time I wasn't used to using email. Mm -hmm. um, and so I thought about um, a recent vacation or not really a vacation actually I was there scouting a place to stay because I was going to be working a project in Hawaii mm -hmm. and I actually was able to swim with turtles there's a beach there oh, wow. that is on the north side of Oahu where um, the the turtles come and feed in you know the area and I didn't realize it I was just out there swimming and they were all of a sudden, you know, looking around, there were turtles all around me. And it was just a really cool experience. And so that's awesome. That was, that became my email address at that point in time. That was like in 96, I want to say. All right. <laughs> and, um, and it's just stuck. It's just, you know, it's just something that's followed me around all over the place. So it's great. Yeah. It's great that you start with a name that has the story behind. So yeah, I really yeah. like that. <laughs> oh what's yeah. my next question <laughs> well no wait my question for you is um what the numbers in your name uh represent you oh have no six one zero eight five <laughs> five what yeah story? i will tell you the beginning of the story because i decided to change my name um four four months ago or something like that i don't even remember but not not too long ago and it's called uh, 61085 because a story because I'm going to I'm going to create well, I'm creating a story and I'm telling a story it's like storytelling through a picture so I'm I'm giving advice to people I'm yeah. just explaining what it happens to me um okay you know and and it it, it does has a it does have a, a meaning uh but it's a meaning that I'm going to reveal over the time uh -huh. So um, okay. I'm just so I'm going, not going to know about it. <laughs> um, I can't. I can tell you in private a little bit, maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. it's something that when when I reveal it, people will people are going to be upset because they'll be ah oh, that's not a thing. But I, I want to try. <laughs> want to try this strategy. Of, Have faith you know, in yourself. They might not say that. They might say, oh, what an interesting idea. Might. That was really cool. Oh. Yeah, but that, let's say that that's what keeps me going. Like that's what keeps me, you know, um, hyped for you know keep posting pictures and and rem it's a way to remember myself of this, like that number that I have to reveal and it's a story. So I'm gonna kind of tell tell a story through, and you know, um, I've chosen I've chosen a, a typography which is a vetica, uh, and okay. you know. The rest of my platforms like Drivo, Behance, uh, not in LinkedIn. In LinkedIn, I have my name, but in the rest of the platforms, I have this this number again, okay. um, a number which is related with typography. So pro pro maybe it's not a number. Maybe it's a number that hides something within. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I'm just giving you some clues. But uh, I'm, it's it's like a. Uh, how you say it like it's something that people have to or it's not easy to uh, to guess or know what it is um, so it, it allows you to think about that and people are gonna be like oh, okay I'm gonna leave it it's too complicated or I, I'm not gonna waste my time so you know I don't want people to do anything I'm just it's just for me it's just because I enjoy it yeah so. okay it's a little puzzle that will reveal itself exactly it's like a little puzzle 
Yeah. Oh, cool. So, um, what do you like about 36 days of type? I honestly love letters mm -hmm. um, and numbers and forms. I mean, my husband is also a graphic designer, so my life has been, and he's very into typography, like really right. into typography and That's fonts good. and creating fonts and everything around it. And so it's been in my life now for a long time. And it's something I've always appreciated before, but being around a professional who's really, really, really into it allows you to experience and enjoy pieces of it that you never have before. He's been asking me to join into this 36 days of type for the past mm. four, four years, I think. And every time I said, no, it's your thing. No, it's your thing. And then this year I said, well, what about if I take pictures? Since that's my thing. I'm not, a, I'm not someone who draws letters mm -hmm. like he is. Most of the people on this platform do. Mm -hmm. I'm someone who is more of a spectator. I'm an appreciator, right? Yeah. And um, so I thought, well, I, maybe what I could do is, yeah, is take these photos and um, appreciate the work that's a, around me here because there's just so much of it. Yeah. Wow. So, you so. know, I, I guess this, this answers my next question, which, which was like, how did you discover it? But now I know. Um, mm. And there's a little nice F. I, I might take a picture of the S with the F. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to take a picture with every time I see a letter. Like, um, yeah. but um, in your mug, year. there was an F. <laughs> yeah, next year. <laughs> um, but, you know, just going to share, I'm just going to share a little thing. Because, you know, I am a designer, professional designer, and um, I just use this project as a way to not design more because I design all the day. So I was like, yeah. I want to use photography for something. I need, I need excuses to show that things. So yeah. I don't have any clients. I don't even know how to find clients in photography. So I'm going to start something different. So I kind of, okay, I'm not going to design anything. I'm just going to shoot at designs or yeah. at the experience it's like i'm a user experience designer so this to me is like experience design yeah like well i noticed that also with each of your entries you give context you give experience mm. whereas i only Please. give the actual you know the i just give one picture the the thing of the day the the letter or the mm. or the number of the day and um what i noticed with yours is that you give a little bit of you know you give the number but then you also give mm. scenes with a, a little story behind it, which oh, I yeah, find really interesting. Pe people don't read it. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Yeah, probably. But yeah. you know, so it, it, in you know, it, uh, in your case, um, you just I I have in mind that that one with the train. There's a U. I guess oh, yeah. this, this, this is one. like a double mm -hmm. train. It's it's amazing, and um, yeah. maybe it's not a U. Maybe it's just the sign of the train. I, I don't no, know no, what that it's is. A, it's a, it's a U bahn. It's it's the oh, U. It's, a it's a one of the U bahns yeah. in in Berlin. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you know, I just you know, even if you don't give a context, I'll I'll I'll, I'll think about and I create my own story about that. So I I really like it as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's I guess yeah. The difference is definitely I'm I'm let everyone create their own their right. own context around house <laughs> so you've never done it before you've never done a 36 days of type before no no this is my first one okay it's my first one great so yeah. i've killed three questions in this one <laughs> <laughs> all right um is this your first time doing it doing no the 36 days of type? uh it's my uh third or fourth time i think it's my third um okay. i was on the first one and let me let me share something with you. I mean, let me share my screen. I'm gonna share something with you. Right okay. Now, yes. Um, well, it started. I mean, the the group that started this is a firm in Barcelona, or do I have that wrong? Is it not? Uh, I think so, but I'm not entirely sure. They, it could be. It could be. Hmm. But now you got me there because I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't want to give either. false information, but you'll see. Uh, 36 days of type. I, I didn't have prepared this because I wasn't expecting this. Um, That's okay. All right, cool. So this is the website. You see my screen, right? Yes, I see okay. your screen. So if you go to the website, um, uh, our, um, participate the project. Let me see about us. Uh, the pro I think the project. If you go to the project, oh, that's of the yeah. This in this uh, like kind of. Uh, 
mosaic. Uh-huh. Um, you, can, you can see my mouse as well. Yeah. Yes, I can see All your right. mouse. So I have I participate on the first one. So I, I have I have my cue. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna try to make it bigger. I can make it bigger. Huh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so that cue, you see the cue where my mouse is? Um, I'm gonna make it yes. like bigger. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, underneath the S's. Yeah. Yeah. So that cue is my cue. And I was impressed, like, oh, they choose my cue. It, <laughs> cool. And then it became bigger and bigger and bigger. And yes. I'm gonna I'm, well, I don't know if I'm gonna be uh, just to give some validation to that because people might be like, oh, yeah, you're lying, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna find I'm gonna find for this cue and maybe you wanna ask me the next uh, the next question. Um, I will a, a little bit answers my question. I was going to ask if okay. if your other projects were also photography based or if you actually drew the letters and numbers in your other um, thirty six days project. In the previous editions, yeah, I used to design it because um, well, I was a I was a freelancer. I was a little bit I wasn't as as uh, as, prof or as senior as I was as I'm now, or you know, I was okay. like. You know, give me more projects. I need to do stuff. I, I always like to do stuff, so that was like a perfect occasion, perfect occasion to to do that. And yeah, I designed it, and I tried to follow a theme. But then the first edition was kind of nice, but then the second one, I think I didn't follow a theme for for all the letters, and then the third one, I think I missed a couple of letters or three, and I was like, oh, I'm I'm done. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> But but in this in this occasion uh, in this occasion in this in this edition let's say mm -hmm. um, I was um, I was like okay I've been like three years maybe without doing it so now I'm going to take it more seriously okay and yeah um, yeah that's that's a thing that's a thing excellent. Mm. So okay, oh, it's my turn, right? <laughs> I think so. I think it's your turn now. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So okay. So we pretty much answering like, why did you decide to participate in this project? I already know. Uh, <laughs> why did you decide to use letters from places? Yeah, you can maybe extend a little bit more. Well, because you're not a designer. Maybe. Oh, you could. Have, you have. You could have. Well, by the way, is your husband doing it? Um, yes, he is. He's okay. his um, account is uh, MRT six one one design. Okay, we and, may take a look. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, let's take a look. I have prepared yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your number four. Just to let you know. I have to put it up enough. still. I've been so busy with work today. I haven't put it up yet. Uh, I'll be waiting. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your uh, husband's? It's MRT611 hmm? design. Mm, I was going to say uh, another numbers. Numbers is the future. Yeah. 611 design. There you go. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. Mm, I think I've seen it. I've seen it in this edition. There's been, yeah, there's so many. Is he at so, home? So, uh, <laughs> no, he's not home. He's at work right now. So <laughs> <laughs> We could have asked some, some questions, but wow, that's great. <laughs> this that's is, great. I want to say it's his fourth time. Oh uh, yeah, that was, it mm. happened to be that the letter B was on the same day as March 3rd. So he did a 303. Mm. <laughs> And what's kind of his approach? Well, we, we don't want to maybe get into. Uh, <laughs> into <laughs> I his, honestly uh, don't. I I don't know exactly. Um, his is kind of more free form, kind of uh, mm -hmm. different. He gets different ideas um, and different yeah, inspirations. That's great. As far as That's... I can tell, but you'll have to interview him mm. honestly. <laughs> yeah, I will yeah. consider that if, if he <laughs> if he wants. I might okay. do this with uh, I might do this with other people. You know, once we have this done, maybe yeah. other people would like to tune in. Okay, I suspect your husband. Oh, what's his name, by the way? We, we can tell. Marty. 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 Yeah, well, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> I can 
tell he likes music and skateboarding maybe yes definitely <laughs> right and jd obviously yeah <laughs> yeah that's him yeah that's, that's great yeah. i you know i skateboard too i saw that <laughs> oh, you saw that <laughs> yeah did, in I, your account yeah do i have any oh i don't i didn't know i have any pictures with skateboarding maybe i mean maybe one i i don't know if it was you i think you were photographing other people but i'm oh, assuming yeah. that you're into skateboarding if you're photographing skaters so. okay yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> right so <clears throat> what do we have here uh do you have any questions for me maybe um i have um a question as to what you're doing in barcelona now uh i moved like um in in january uh in the 5th of january um because my grandma was was kind of passing away oh, I'm sorry um to hear that. Yeah, well it was very old it was 94 um okay. So, um, you know, when um, my sister was like having babies, you know, when some people go, other people come. Yes, <laughs> um, that's life. <laughs> and, you know, and, and we, we wanted to move. I, I, I used to live with my partner in London, so we wanted to move from that flat. And, you know, I, I got offered um, a, a kind of a nice, I was working from home, like free, um, working remotely from home. So, you know, this, this lockdown is not new for me, but I was working from home. I was looking for a job in London, but I wasn't finding anything. I, I liked it. And, you know, I was working part-time in a shoe, in a skate, uh, in Vans, actually, in a skate okay. shop. Well, yeah. it was not a skate shop. They were, they were kind of annoyed when you say that a skate shop because they didn't sell skateboards, but it was a shoe, a shoe shop. That's so, a shoe um, shop. Yeah, but it was nice. It was a skateboard band, so it was cool. But then, you know, I was like, you know, I, I have a chance to work in something I like, like in a school, uh, teaching people. You know, I like to talk. I like to create community with students. So I came. Yeah. I came here and um, I'm living with my parents as well now, so I could save a little bit of money. Um, yeah. And, you know, it was like a, a group of situations that led me to move and um yeah but you know my, my partner is there so now we're having this this time but it, it, it's fine you know with the technology we don't really have an excuse but obviously the I physical mean, yeah honestly i mean unless you actually live with your partner at the moment everyone is having the same issue where <laughs> we all have to connect mm -hmm. um, virtually rather than physically <laughs> Yeah. But um, yeah, long distance relationships are, are not so easy. When, when Marty mm. first moved here to Germany, um, mm. I was still in San Francisco for a while. And um, yeah, you just have to talk all the time just to kind yeah. of create, you know, keep that connection going. But it's possible. Yeah. We lived apart possible. for 10 months. So yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah, we've been like from since January and some some days it's difficult some days it's, it's don't it's not you know she's now with her family as well so he's having a nice time it's great it's great my by the way my sister lives in germany in frankfurt um oh and yeah uh she's married with 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 uh christian who is a uh, is, is german um okay and my mother my mother is is there because when the lockdown started she was there and then oh. she, she pref <laughs> yeah she's healthy because she has three babies like my, my sister has three babies like two like two of them are twins so it's okay. like they have four months and and the older is like one year or two years <gasps> sorry so they, they so your mom's it. there helping <laughs> and, they, and it's crazy That's you don't want to be there <laughs> I mean, it's sweet, Honestly, it's wonderful, but oy, it is. that's a lot of work. <laughs> at night, at night, when they were here, it was like, you, you don't sleep at night, you don't sleep for eight hours in a row, like, no. insane. <laughs> but it's, yeah. it's, you know, it's a, it's a gift. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. It'll be okay. much easier when they get a little older. <laughs> yeah, I, have I suppose. A, I have a niece, I have a niece and nephew who are also... Oh. Um, there, are, well, the, the niece is now six months and my nephew okay. is three and their yes. household is also loud mm -hmm. and, and crazy, but that's <laughs> part of the joy of having little kids in the house, right? That energy. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's a boundless, price you pay. <laughs> boundless happy energy. <laughs> that's what yeah. you pay for. 
Exactly. Um, exactly. So, uh, okay, coming back to the Instagram and taking pictures yes. and yes. all of these, that, um, like, how often do you take pictures? Or you used to take pictures when we, what, you know, when you remember those times when you could go out in the street, you know? So, how often do you take pictures? <laughs> Um, you know, it depends on when the semester is happening or not, honestly. Mm. Like um, when I'm really busy with work, I still end up using my phone and taking pictures of things, you know, just daily things on the way to work or um, uh, stuff that I see around town and, and that sort of thing. I like to pick up little, you know, vignettes mm -hmm. of the day sort of thing and create like a, a mosaic through the year of, of different pictures of the day. So I have been doing that for, yeah, a long time. I'd say like seven years, but- um, uh, So um, do you have, sorry, carry on. You know, uh, but um, when, with my actual camera, like, you know, a good hmm. DSLR camera, um, I try and, and do that like in between semesters when there's more of a break and that sort of thing, hmm. then I'll try and, and go out once a week or something like that like, so honestly this hasn't happened at all okay. in this break so so you have already done i mean are you covered for the rest of the project or would you need to do some bandages um i think i'm covered for the rest of the project i think i'm pretty covered and you know okay. there's um i have a couple of them that i wasn't super happy with but mm. Um, I can't do as much right now, so you just have to make it work, sort of thing, you know. But um, for the most part, I I like the the things that I found for different reasons. So, but it, sometimes it's the actual letter or number itself, or sometimes it's the lighting, um, or some other interesting thing that was happening. Um, a lot of times, though, it's I I try and find something that has a a certain characteristic that, you know, made me pay attention to it. It's not mm -hmm. just because of that letter or something like that. I see. There's lots of, of, of different fours, for example, that are out there in the world. But um, I wanted to choose one that, you know, at that moment was, you know, catching my eye and making me go, okay, this is the one I want to use. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, what do you what do you expect or what did you expect from this project or experience did you expect anything at all honestly i um i was hoping that i would find some new new inspiration to follow um mm. i really enjoy uh, um watching like people's process like when they're drawing things and that sort of and and plus um you know, it just gives you more, more people. I use Instagram a lot for, for inspiration for lots of different areas of my life. Um, but I wasn't expecting to actually gain that much of it, you know, um, uh, for myself. Um, I, I, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how, um, how people have been responding to my, to my project. I've received um, you know, messaging and also um, comments and, and interesting people have liked it where we've communicated and it hasn't just been like, you know, a couple of likes and, mm. and then on to the next one sort of thing. There's actually been engagement, which I wasn't expecting. That's right. Really nice. I've had engagement. That, that's mm -hmm. cool. You know, you never, you never yeah. know. I'm not having yeah. as much as, as much engagement as, as, as I imagine you are having. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if there's a, a, I don't know exactly what you think a lot is. My, my account is still very small and very personal. I'm, I'm since I myself, I'm, I'm not a designer and I'm not pushing it in a commercial way. This is very much for me, something that feeds my soul, mm -hmm. something that makes me, it gives me a creative outlet, so to speak. So, um, um, I'm maybe in a, in a different branch than a lot of people who are doing it. I feel like um, a lot of people, a lot of the designers that are drawing and everything, this is for them, you know, an outlet obviously for, for um, getting that, that creative energy out. But at the same time, it's also a way to advertise, you know, what they're capable of and everything. And, mm -hmm. and so, um, okay. 
yeah, I see, I see both of those possibilities that are out there. It's good for both of those things. And um, would you consider doing it again, like participating again? Yeah, except I'm not sure if I'd do f photographs again. I have some ideas for some other things maybe that I would do. Um, but they all take time. So that means mm. that I have to prepare myself ahead of time. There's no way I could do them in a 24-hour period. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, that like, makes sense. For example, like for, for um, what was it? I think for my P that I did, I wasn't very happy with the P that I had before. So I went out for a walk and found a P in town, so to speak. And that was very mm. easy for me to do. But if I was to do something, you know, like most people are doing, creating and drawing and that sort of thing, then you have to take a few hours and sit down and, and do something rather than just go for a walk and take a few pictures. So, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, there's a huge know, difference in energy. <laughs> well, and, you know, with, with, this, <clears throat> with this approach that we both taken, um, you might go out and don't find anything. So That's sometimes true. it's not that easy. No, um, no. Or, or everything yeah. you find is so boring or the lighting is horrible. Like that's mm. also, I found some really that's cool true. things, but the reflection was just no good. And so, yeah. you know, I love the letter, but if I can't get a good photograph of it, then there's no point because you can't see it. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I can't really talk very loud because some of my pictures I taken with the phone and you can tell they're rubbish, <laughs> but, but you know, I'm, I'm not really concerned about the, the format or the quality, but the story, you know, or like, absolutely, just, you know, the process, like the process. Yeah. I mean, when it, when it's about the story, then I actually, I think it's kind of cool that, that it, it's, you can tell that it's taken with a phone because then it feels more, um, hmm. more like, you know, every day, like, yeah. so, like someone could put themselves in, in the place of that. And, um, yeah. sometimes when photographs are too polished, then, um, it feels a little bit fake. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Or like it, it, yeah. It kind of, it loses the essence or some, yeah, yeah, exactly. some kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, my questions regarding Instagram are, are done. Uh, okay. I don't know if maybe you have more. I have uh, three, three, like oh, six more questions. Like, uh, no, but they are short and they're more about, you know, uh, the world. But, you know, maybe go ahead if you have some Instagram stuff or some I do creative. actually. Um, I have, um, I guess you said that you do um, user experience. That's what you are, user experience. Um, what does that mean when, okay, you're, well, when you're talking about user um, yeah, like, is that brand, well, user experience is a very generic term. Yeah, so that's it, what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So user, it goes with user interface and slash user experience. So yeah. what I do pretty much is like design the interfaces, which is like the buttons, uh, the lists, yes. the screens, you know, yes. whereas the, like the graphic design, the visual design, but then the experience yeah. is how, how it feels. Yes. So it's, it's not tangible. The experience is like designing the experience is like, okay, between this screen and this screen, you have an animation. It makes you feel like, you know, waiting forever. You know, that will yeah. be the, the experience. So sometimes, you know, I'm not designing. I'm just talking and gathering okay. information and translating information into pictures because that's what I do good. Well, I okay. do both good, you know. I tell that, I tell my, my team that user experience is like empathy, um, so if you have empathy, you are able to put in someone else's shoes and then mm -hmm. you can, you can feel what they feel, or at least you can, you can try to get what, what they get. And, and then you can create beautiful products or like good products that help a group of people doing some, some actions. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense <laughs> to me. <laughs> and user experience can be, uh, can be brought to architecture, to typography, as we are doing in this project. Yeah. I say that I say that is um, typography experience, or yeah, like um, you, like UX in typography, or you know, visual experience. I don't know that this term is going to change over the time. Now we yeah. call it pr product design. Product design yeah. is like the term, but then you have UX designers working on it, UI designers. 
um, yeah. copywriters, illustrators, right. product managers. Yeah. All of those things. Definitely. <laughs> you gotta have, okay. you gotta have passion for that. Yeah. But I mean, um, to be able to, um, put yourself into the, the user's shoes and, um, maybe experience what they experience, um, without trying to, yeah, without trying to drive it a certain way, you need to, like you said, have that kind of empathy so that, um, you can, yeah, enhance it for them and realize what would, what would make be the improvements. And I feel mm -hmm. like that that's partly like the, the project that you've put together here, that the extra pictures that you put with it are definitely that, mm -hmm. that adds that little bit of experience to it. I'm glad to hear that. It's one of, it's yeah. one of the first feed feedbacks I have because, you know, I, and that's, that's what UX is all about. Like you put out something, and then the user responds like for example i'll give you a very simple example like you you build a park with that corner and there's a light in the corner like i'm gonna yeah. draw it to you like you know <laughs> um like you know <laughs> let me let me illustrate it graphically for you <laughs> but, you know that's that's okay. a park so people okay. walk people walk here Okay. And they build, they have built this park. And then some users, some users start, some users start to cross this path because they want to yes. save time. Yes. So then, you know, the user experience designers observe that they, that's user testing, right? That's yes. the, the, <laughs> the, the um, you know, the, some people cross this path because they want to save time and then they put some rocks or some stones on the floor. So that's design, yes. user experience design. Um, right. That's really, really interesting. So I try to give context uh, that makes sense for me, but some people may be like, what the heck is this guy talking about? You know, so I, I, I really ask for feedback, but then you cannot really ask for feedback. It has to be natural, you know? I'd right, say like. right. So it's kind of a, you just put it out there and let people interact with the product. Yeah. Same with the um, pictures. So for example, I was just looking at your zero um, I love the picture of the zero and the, the reflection of the red light. And then the next pictures are, <laughs> uh, you phone. know, obviously, yeah, with the phone, but I think <laughs> the one the with the phone is brilliant, you know, like, cause it has that wow. reflection of you, but that's me. That's me with my phone, you know, taking a picture mm. of that. Yeah, so exactly. like you've put me in there without even me wanting to be there sort of thing, or even thinking you know, about it. And all of a sudden I'm there. I don't so know if sharing that. that, that, you know, that's, if I, if I, if I can share it or not, you know, that was one of the times I was going to the hospital to see my grandma. So mm -hmm. I, I, I felt like I still need to keep up with my, to keep on doing my work and I, I need to take the picture. So I don't really going to have time today. So I'm going to take this picture and it's going to be rough. So I'm not, I'm not talking about, because I don't want to share like personal stuff in my Instagram, right. Right. but um, if, if there's, you know, in the interview then i can tell about it that makes more sense but um that that was the reason so it's made from the phone and what's what's what i say in that picture i say what did i say bad news yeah like bad news is better than good news yeah. i don't know i was like kind of trying to to talk about that without talking about this like but mm -hmm. making people think so i want to make people read my content because it's actually valuable for for someone at least so, you know, I'm just going to keep doing that thing and using pictures. But, you know, it's it's kind of a hidden world that, well, it's, I don't even understand what I'm doing in the pictures. But, you know, <laughs> over the time, I'm going to look it again. I'm going to say, oh, okay. You know. I mean, um, sometimes you just have to go with intuition and figure it out mm, later. I like you that. had, you know, you, you got to trust in your own intuition for those types of things. Yeah. I mean, that's with photography. A lot of it is you know, right time, right exactly. place, and a little bit of intuition. So. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah. I'm going to allow you maybe to ask uh, questions like creative related because my next questions are kind of, um, well, no, I, I can actually ask three that are not because the, the final three questions are going to be mind blowing. So, you know, have you ever, 
<laughs> no, I don't want to create a high expectation either. But uh, uh, so, okay. have you? Uh, I was I was thinking. Uh, yeah, last night I was I was writing down these three questions. Like, have you ever done public speaking? I guess so, because you work for, you know. But you know, have you ever done public speaking? And like, tell me a bit about this. How you feel? Um, public speaking, yes. Well, it doesn't yes. have to be like in front of two thousand people, but. I mean, I've I've had um, I've done talks at conferences before mm -hmm. with groups of you know up to um, I'd say maybe yeah hundred or two hundred people. Oh wow! And then I've also had yeah most of my classes are fifty people or less. But it's interesting though because when I'm in a classroom and I'm the you know the instructor, mm -hmm. I'm not nervous at all because it's my show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's my, it's my room I get it. and I'm the leader. But anytime I have to give, you know, a, a, a talk or a conference, um, like a, you know, presentation or something like that, I'm always really nervous <laughs> because, right? you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you have this, this expectation of yourself and you're speaking to your peers about something <laughs> and that sort of thing. And so then you get really, you, you can get your nerves up, but that's also a good thing. You can, you can exploit that energy and, um, mm. and make it into something really interesting. It's also yeah. good to talk about whether you're nervous or not, because that will help. But yeah. I've, I've been in front of classrooms now so much that, um, mm -hmm. you know, if you count, um, you know, being in, in front of university students um, mm. in the classroom as public speaking, then, then yeah, I've done yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. I've, been, I've, been, I've, I've been in the university, but in the school, and I feel the same, like the 10 minutes before i'm like shaking and that scares the shit out of me but <laughs> <laughs> but once i start it's like yeah that's that's where i feel more comfortable and yeah. that's why i want to do that like i've done some interviews these days and like i want to i want to become more public speaker because i want to you know share value with others and i want to yes. get used to that i want to get used to cameras i want to get used to microphones and all of these because if one day i have to i want to be ready for that you know yeah so Absolutely. maybe maybe it's a good idea. Um, yes. How many I questions did you have? In. Oh, I, I joined in on a on a um, Instagram live just for a moment because I had to get off to go back to work, but I just okay. jumped in. Um, it was you were conducting an interview I'm a, or a conversation with someone in Spanish. Honestly, I my Spanish is mm -hmm. not that great, and so I just was curious, like, um, what what was this Instagram live? What were you? Okay, thinking? so there's like in my in my Instagram TV, you say. Yes. Okay, there's a few of them without subtitles, but then I've started uh -huh. putting subtitles in oh, English. Thank you. Um, <laughs> That's a lot <laughs> yeah, of work. Like, thank you. <laughs> you. You mean yeah? Because you know, if I can do it, I'm I'm gonna take this this time. So you mean that ones that are like black and red, right? It's at night. Yeah. Yeah. That that's my first one. Is with with a guy. Um, a friend of mine and we we're talking about like objectives and goals and finding happiness um, but basically we are talking about um, let me let me let me see which one you want anything in particular or just in general uh, just in general but you both yeah. had such great smiles on your faces while you were talking you had like this yeah. light in your eyes so I'm, <laughs> I'm like oh, I can't understand what they're saying but I know that they're hmm. happy to be talking right now <laughs> so there's there's like four of them um there's there's one of them that looks different that one has subtitles you might want to uh, no that doesn't want to have but i'm going to share your i'm going to share my youtube channel so you can see a little bit more with subtitles but okay. um you know the first one says it's all about perspective so when you see yourself from outside it looks yeah. different you know if you're shouting or if you're swearing that makes sense to you because you're angry but then when you see yeah. someone else swearing, it's like, man, stop doing this. Stop doing yeah. that. You know, it's not yeah, nice. It's not so you, it. And yeah. it affects yourself. You don't want to be that. You, yeah. you, you don't feel comfortable when you see someone swearing and you don't want to be that either. So that's yeah. one. Then there's another one that says, uh, there's an opportunity today. Like these days, people is at home doing nothing and just saying, I'm bored. Man, right. do something. Just interview people. Just up, upload videos. Whatever you, whatever it is that you're doing, even if you just play a PlayStation game, just film it and upload it. Maybe you can find do, do something. Do something. Yeah. Just 
and don't complain about oh when is it going to end maybe we have to be like a couple of months yeah we're just at the you beginning know. perhaps i mean honestly I've, so. Yeah, that's uh, you. You you better be ready. Yeah. So there's an, another one that says, uh, "Stop, um, stop trying to impress people you don't give a shit about." <laughs> uh, it's like you know, the, the, you know Gary V. Shout out to yeah. Gary V from here. I, you know, I just started to do this podcast thanks to Gary V, who inspired me. Hopefully, one day we'll see this podcast and I can have a conversation with him. You know Gary V. No, I do not. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, Gary Vee will be... Send me the link. I need to learn. I'm, I'll Gary Vee is someone that. who puts 100 pieces of content a day. It's, it's crazy. Wow. Uh, it talks about, you know, happiness, self-development, mindset. Uh, like, and pretty much what I'm talking is, is it comes from Gary Vee and, and some others like Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, Simon Sinek. Maybe you know Simon Sinek. Cause I'm not yeah. sure if it's from California, but anyways, um, so, you know, stop doing, st- stop doing things for the likes on Instagram. Stop buying dumb shit for people. You don't give a shit. So it's like yeah. this, this kind of thing. And the other yeah. one um, with this guy is um, create habits and achieve anything. Like if you learn how to create habits, then you can create habits of creating other habits you want to wait you want to lose weight start running and get used to don't see to not see the re, seeing the result straight away so you want to you know if you want to grow tomatoes the tomato is going to take time to grow so the same yeah. with your goals it's going to get we're used to get everything right now in this moment so that's not the thing you need to wait you need to be patient and you need to create habits that's that's it. <laughs> that's well, what we're talking. Good advice, though, is um, yeah. that everything needs needs to be you know needs to be taken care of and grown, and and that growth will come slowly, but it'll come if you're if yeah. you're constantly taking care of it, you know. And if it don't comes, if if it's not coming, just keep doing it and don't get frustrated. Like, be grateful for what you have instead of complaining for yeah the things you think you deserve just keep yeah. going that's the yeah. thing oh, that's great <laughs> it's really great yeah in spain uh we need a lot of this you know i i've learned these things from america uh, well from you know from people like simon sinek gary v as, as I, I will send you the links because i think you'll enjoy it um yeah. but Please. you know it's it's, it's, it's it, i'm on this mindset i'm, I'm on this entrepreneurial thing if you want to be an entrepreneur you, you got to be ready to you know to to to, to i wouldn't say eat shit but like just <laughs> but you know, definitely to fail have you have to learn how to, to fail, fail you and, need and then learn from fail. that yeah yeah and gary v, gary v says something i really like that you don't love it's, it's, a, it's like kind of a slogan for him or like a strap line he yeah. says um, you don't love you. You don't love losing. You lost. <laughs> and that's yeah. really true. Yeah. I like that. Gary V. Honestly, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out for him and his community. It's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. I I like hearing your inspiration behind all of this. Definitely, it's a yeah. good way to use the time. I think. And, and to I didn't know. Yourself. I I I thought. I thought it was going to be with you, with you and me now. I thought it was going to be super different. I thought, I thought you were going to be German, point number one. <laughs> point number which one. Is, which would have been a bit more cold. Uh, but by the way, without, <laughs> without um, under, undervaluing or, or, you know, the German, like, this, it, but it's another culture, right? Like Lati, La, Latinos and, and Americans, like from California maybe, or New York, we're, we're, we're open maybe to you know, to this new stuff, whereas, you know, people from, from the North of Europe will be a bit more closed. You know, we get yeah, that. Yeah. I think it also just kind of depends on the, on the person. There are some yeah, people yeah, who are really into true. it. And, um, I, I have a, a community on Instagram that I'm a part of that is all Germans, but, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know if any of them would actually do an interview though, like a, with someone from somewhere else. That's, I, I mean, it's a so. valid point. I'm not, I'm not sure, but you know, there's, there's plenty of free spirits as well. So, yeah. so and you just have to find the right person. <laughs> Maybe if this person hears this, 
he'll be like, yeah. okay, now I'm going to do it. Because sometimes you do stuff because other yeah. people tell you that you're not able to do that. So that's one of the reasons you start, you might start doing something as well. So yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, change the stereotype. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you, you wanna, you wanna go for the hardcore questions. Okay. Let's do some hardcore questions. <laughs> Your face. Um, <laughs> So, uh, well, be before getting to the hardcore session, do you think this, this conversation, now talking about this conversation, can help others? And if so, in what way? Well, uh, I think that these conversations are, are interesting um, in that they, they kind of help reveal the, the people behind the art that um, every piece of art is not necessarily, you know, something that is in a vacuum and by itself. It comes from, you know, uh, um, a person with experiences and inspiration. And the more of these kinds of conversations that we hear, then, then we can talk about those types of inspirations. You know, what made you want to draw this? What made you want to take this picture? That type mm -hmm. of thing. And um, I find all of that really interesting because it's all part of the human experience. Going back to the word experience, actually, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but it's mm -hmm. true, though. It's all part of, I agree. you know, we all have different social constructs of, of you know, what, how we think the world works um, based on, you know, just our own experiences in life. And um, that comes out in our, in our art, in our photos and our drawings and, and our, what 100%. we produce. Yeah. 100%. And so I think to, to actually hear um, these types of conversations helps to kind of illuminate that a little bit and make it more real, you know, that it's not just this person like you. I love listening to interviews of my favorite artists because um, it, it humanizes everything. You know, you, we tend to put really good artists or I'm not saying I'm really good, but we tend to put artists that we admire up on a pedestal and um and then we forget that, you know, they also put their pants on one leg at a time like everybody else. And exactly. so conversations like this just kind of brings you and your ideas back down to earth and, and, um, and helps you see people for, for who they are. Definitely. That's beautiful. I, I, I really, I really believe that, you know, when, when, when Tesla or Edison was, they were starting, it was the first time that they were doing that. Or when the, the, the Wright brothers were building the plane, they were having issues as well. People were saying, oh, you're not going to achieve that. But they were like trying and trying. That's, I think that's what some people are doing, like just trying new stuff and like yeah. finding, finding a way to, to, to get to where, where are we going to go. It's important to have a list of goals well set. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I'm getting to the hardcore section. Okay. Don't be scared. It's not as hard. I mean, you keep but... saying hardcore section, so I'm a little bit nervous about this now. <laughs> no, but it's yeah, not. Okay, I should I should call it in another way. It's like the, the closing session, maybe. Okay, the closing so it, session. It, it gives us all the big talk, as my my you know my videos are are called big talk. So maybe the big talk okay. session, which is hardcore. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> what would you do? if if money wasn't a thing or if money wasn't um, necessary mm. you see it's not as hardcore yeah yeah it's a little bit harder but I have you to have to think. put myself put myself in a place where i don't have to worry about money exactly. <sighs> first off i i have to say that i would probably still be involved in education in some way just because I really enjoy that interaction and that even without money, you know, there would still be a need for, you know, production and, and, and gaining of knowledge and that sort of thing, because, mm -hmm. you know, you still have to learn how to, how the world works and how people work and all that sort of thing so that we can yeah. better society somehow. But if money wasn't part of the equation, I think I would still, I would still be a part of that. I would still be part of this education system because I feel like it would still be there. I don't know what form it would take, but I would. I can imagine myself still doing something like that. Okay. Um, yeah. 
that's probably the, I'd have, I could come up with more things, but that, that's it's, the, it's what I was expecting. The, Cause <laughs> if you, if you say I would retire and do nothing, I'll be like, mm-hmm. okay, this, this, ha- this, this is, that's not a, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be able to retire. I'll always be doing something, honestly. I'm not, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will be, maybe I'll be tired enough to just sit around and do nothing, but, but even then you, I'll be yeah. doing something. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll need to do something or tell someone else to do something, you know, in order to achieve something. I don't know. I, th- I think so. So level one, Past. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have more? Do you have more questions for me though? Um, or... Well, I kind of, you know, have you answered that question yourself before? I'm curious what your answer would be. Uh, my, ans- my answer is the same. Like I would, I would, I would invest, invest money in, if money wasn't the problem, I would invest as much, as much as I can in, in building businesses to help people or to develop ideas, maybe develop and, you know, I plus D like invest in development, like research to find yeah. out more. Like, I don't know. I would talk to, I would go to Elon Musk and ask something about space. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Those things that yeah. are out of range. I would, I would, I would like to know more or yeah. Just, I like business. So I would, yeah. I would do something really or design. Sure. Animals maybe as well. Hmm, there's lots of different things. You have lots of options, definitely. Yeah, but design is going to be there always. Yeah. And design is research, and you can apply design to literally everywhere. So, yeah, one of it's the a great lot things. of um, research and problem solving. That's what it seems to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, level two. Let's do level two. Level two. <clears throat> <laughs> That's getting a bit more complicated because it's not personal. It's about the world. So okay. what do you think? Yeah. What do you think the world needs more of? Ooh. <laughs> you see? <laughs> this one's kind of a tough one. Um, yes. At this point right now, I feel like the world needs a they need just like what you were talking about before, they need a lot more empathy. We need to be able to put themselves in other people's shoes and take a look at Mm -hmm. what other people are experiencing that people don't ask for things or don't move to other countries or they don't do anything without something behind that. They're not just trying to, you know, get a, 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 a free ride somewhere or something like that. Yeah. And I think that without this empathy that our world's in big trouble, especially it's now in a bad with the place. pandemic. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna go there as well. Like until until this didn't came to your country, people were looking somewhere else. You know, it's like, yeah. oh yeah, in China, oh look, look at these Chinese people, they're crazy, right? It's having this pandemic. Yeah. There are too, too many people there, these Chinese people. Oh, oh, there's the first case of coronavirus in Germany. There's the first case. There's three cases in... Oh, there's actually one of these um, focus in, 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 the, in the town next to us. We should, you know, we should have a look. People is very egoistical, I think. Yeah. Like the world in general. Empathy, you said it right, I think. Yeah. More transparency. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, transparency would be good for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a difficult difficult time right now, and mm. there's just so many things that that could be alleviated with a little bit. Empathy leads to understanding. When you understand why people do the things that they do, then you can uh, yeah. accept it and not fight it and be angry about it or something like that, or work towards a better solution. If what they're mm. doing is not in agreement with, with your needs or the pe- mm. people around you's needs, like, but without that, even there's, there's no way to move forward. So 100%. you just have, you just have conflict and that's it yeah level two that was level, level two? two okay and level level three is getting nervous. how many how many how many levels are there that's Just so level that three and that's the last one okay level three 
uh, unless you have more, do you have any more levels or do you have a hardcore session maybe? I did not prepare any sort of hardcore right. questions, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> All right. So maybe we can close with this. Um, okay. So, you know, um, I didn't know you don't have children. I didn't know anything. So the question okay. is, and I haven't write it down to today. It was, it was previously done yesterday. So <laughs> what advice would you give to a newborn a newborn Wait. child mm. just if you're planning mm. to have kids maybe you can train now a little bit <laughs> um advice i guess advice for my, a newborn. Ad my advice for yeah a newborn born into this world now is well um, it doesn't yeah you know what i mean like someone who doesn't know anything so what advice would you yeah doesn't need to be a new word because it wouldn't understand you but you, you get you get me oh <laughs> uh, yeah absolutely i mean advice for the people growing up now honestly I, i think it's important to um to find out information in all sides before reacting to something um that right now in our world we have lots of of different avenues of information. Um, and we tend to stay in, in a bubble and not try and understand what's happening um, outside of that bubble. And part of that is not our own making. Part of that are, especially nowadays, we get a lot of our information online through different, um, different platforms like Instagram, where the algorithms are leading us towards you know, a certain group and we don't actually have access to everything. It's not, um, yeah, it's, it's just not there. So we tend to think that our world is the only world that exists. And that's totally not true that you need to go out and, and, you know, experience and see that and, and engage people in all different walks of life so that you can make your own judgments and your own ideas about, what's out there in the world. Um, in order to critically think about everything, you, you have to get that information and you can't just let it be fed to you. You have to actively go out there and seek it. And I guess that for me is something that I don't think is always taught, you know, to, to people. I mean, of all ages, not just, you know, young people or something like mm -hmm. that. Um, I think that, that it's um, something that needs to start, though, at a, at a really young age. Um, philosophy okay. and critical thinking are something that you can, you can introduce to young children as well. <laughs> But, I agree. Um, I agree. You know, it's, um, I think it's in, in this age of, of information that that's something that you need to, that needs to be learned how to navigate. So to say. Mm. Definitely. 100%. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was a hard yeah. one. That was level three for sure. Yeah, that's like kind of l l leveraging and like giving a legacy, you know, like yeah. to, to the future. Because yeah. maybe some of the, some of our audience going to be teenagers or people who is looking for like new mentors or so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's it for me. I think That was that was great. Um, from from my side, is is all done, and I just you know, it was more than than 40 minutes. I think it's 40 minutes for more than two people. Yeah, I uh, think so. Zoom. So glad for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm 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 so excited. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really liked it. Um, Good. I'm gonna edit it and post it so people can see in Instagram and YouTube as well. Um, yeah. I'm going to put the links as well. And okay. Yeah, I encourage people to um, DM us and ask us anything. And, you know, through through this initiative that I ha I've, have had and, you know, I'm trying to getting to know people, you know, discovering talent as well as finding out answers and, you know, um, help helping, well, it helps myself understand the world and people and it might help other people as well. Yeah. So I'm um, very, very happy and very thankful that you join in today. And 
thank you, <laughs> Grace. Yeah, but, thank you for asking me. This was, that was really interesting. I really appreciate it and I enjoyed it very much. So I hope you get more of these so I can watch your other yeah. conversations with people. <laughs> well, we'll definitely, we'll definitely be in touch and I'll, I'll follow. Yes. Remember that I'm waiting for your number four today. Oh, yeah, I still have to do your, that. Oh, no. <laughs> your audience is waiting. Your audience is waiting. My, so. my, my humongous audience. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I guess if, if, you, if you post it tomorrow, you can say you're from California. So, you know. <laughs> it's a no, time difference. I'm gonna, I'll, get, I'll get that. I, I have time still. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it happen. <laughs> All right. very uh very good um thank you grace uh, we'll keep in touch and okay uh, it's been a pleasure yeah it's been a pleasure too thank you all right thank you bye -bye. so have a good afternoon you too bye bye bye